Malcolm X, A Fire Burning Brightly. I read an amazing book called Malcolm X, A Fire Burning Brightly. You may have heard of the author, Walter Dean Myers, as he is an award-winning writer. It is about a boy named Malcolm who blossoms into a strong, hard-working man. I chose this book in honor of Black History Month. He started from a small black community in Omaha, Nebraska. His father was a preacher too. Jobs were scarce in Omaha for blacks, so they moved to East Lansing, Michigan when he was four. There were constant threats from people that didn't like blacks. On September 1931, Malcolm's father was found crushed to death under a trolley. There was a rumor that he was killed by people who didn't like blacks. Malcolm's mother became so ill she couldn't support the family, so they were split up and put in different foster homes. Malcolm felt he couldn't be what he wanted to be, which was a lawyer, because of the color of his skin, so he moved to Boston, Massachusetts. He started to feel good about himself again. He, jo he joined a gang that robbed apartments. The gang was caught and arrested. He spent most of his time in jail reading. When he was paroled from prison, he joined the Nation of Islam, a political and religious organization dedicated to the betterment of black people. He took the last name X. He was a passionate speaker. He soon met Sister Betty X, and they would marry and have six daughters. The Civil Rights Movement began to start. It got bigger and bigger. Malcolm's outspokenness was making the Nation of Islam look bad. On March 1964, Malcolm announced he would be leaving the Nation of Islam. He moved to Mecca. He believed in equality for people of all colors. On February 1965, Malcolm was giving a speech. It had only just begun when gunfire erupted. People ran for the exits. He lay dying on the floor. I really liked this book. My favorite part was when the book said, he blazed his way through the history of the 50s and 60s of America. And like so many flames, he warmed many with his leadership and insight. Others he burned with his opposition and scorn. And like flames that burned too brightly, his light was too soon extinguished. I would recommend this book to people who want to learn about black history. I really like this book and I hope you.